Throughout all the years of touring, John Mayer has given us some really incredible live moments that you just wouldn't have expected. On the Saw Brock tour alone, two moments that come to my mind is Marin Morris joining him for Slow Dancing and him changing up how he would perform the, I guess, I just feel like outro solos, especially using the Charvel and the Jackson soloist. Those were just great moments that you'll always remember those tours for. But on the John Mayer solo tour that's currently happening right now, John might have given us one of the best moments of all that hopefully all of us get to experience live if you get to see one of the concerts on this upcoming tour. The way this solo tour is set up, there are three kind of distinct sections that John will do every night. There is a piano part, an acoustic guitar part, which is kind of the bulk of the evening, as well as some electric guitar opponents as well. And for everyone in attendance for the very first show in Newark, when John started performing Changing on the Piano, I'm sure everyone was thinking, oh, this is going to be cool. We're going to experience Changing on the Piano, and I'm sure if you're a fan of John Mayer's electric guitar and his soloing and his gear, if you're watching my channel, of course, I'm sure you might have been thinking, oh, you know, the Changing solos on the electric guitar are always really awesome, and it's maybe too bad we're not going to hear an awesome guitar solo for Changing. Well, then John started looping on the piano, and then he picked up his Silver Sky and, well, as you guys are going to see, it was something truly special that he's done on both nights of the tour that we've had so far. And I'm going to one of the shows and I'm just fingers crossed that I'm going to get to experience this live. The looping with the piano and then the guitar solo that followed was just incredible and it's something that you would never get to experience in a John Mayer concert unless you see him on this tour. So let's check it out together. I also right now just finished rewatching some of this footage and it's just, it's just so cool to see him doing this. When this tour was announced, I was expecting some acoustic guitar or electric guitar looping on the tour. And John actually um, came out and discussed how he's not really going to loop on this tour when it comes to the guitar at least, as it's kind of a rule he set himself, but that said, he's open to breaking. And if you haven't seen the video I've done on the pedal boards that John is using for this tour, there are actually three of them. That video will be linked down in the description below and go check that out. But he does have three different loopers on his pedal board. And I mean, okay, I guess he's not necessarily breaking that rule because he's doing it on the piano, not on the guitar. But I just never would have guessed that this is gonna be something we would have seen. And now the wheels are kind of turning in my head thinking, well, what other songs would be cool to hear on the piano and then hear a guitar solo over top of a loop piano section as well? Because changing might not be the only one he's going to do on this tour too. But I feel like there might be a component like this at least every night where he does something with the piano and the electric guitar because I think the fan reception to this has just been stellar. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Now, of course, I can't make this video without at least touching briefly on the guitar gear that John is using because I know nothing about pianos and I'm not even going to attempt to claim that I do for you guys. So John is playing a gloss Moxan Silver Sky. It's been kind of interesting. He stated that when they were prototyping the satin Moxan finish that it was his favorite color of the Silver Sky, but he's actually kind of gone back and even over the Sawbrock tour, he's gone back to using the gloss finish Silver Sky instead. And though PRS doesn't actually make the gloss mock sand finish anymore. I wouldn't go and say that John's using an older spec Silver Sky. They can make him any color Silver Sky he wants, and he's even gone and said, I have colors of the Silver Sky at my house that if people saw, they would just lose their minds, and I believe him. I don't doubt that that's what's going on. So if I had to guess, this is probably John's current touring spec guitar, whatever that is, if that's the current production Silver Sky spec or not, I'm doubtful but it's gonna be whatever spec that he's currently using on tour is just brought up to date with an older finish that he's obviously really still in love with. Now, in the footage we just watched, you actually can see a Boss RC500 looper kind of on the floor and it's on and that's what John is gonna be using to loop the piano. Now, in terms of the pedal board John would have been using for the electric guitar, we know that he had a TS-10 into a Klon Centaur into a TS-10 for these performances. That's the pedal board he's currently using for the electric guitar on tour. I've done a full pedal board breakdown as I already mentioned in this video um, on all three pedal boards that John is using for the tour. Again, it's in the description down below and go check that out if you haven't already. But for this outro solo, John's kind of main lead tone from what I've gathered from the John Merrick Trio show as well is TS-10 into Klon Centaur into TS-10 again. And that's what I believe he's using here. Probably the Providence Chrono Delay providing some slight delay as well on top of the drive sound. But without seeing him step on the pedals and having crystal clear audio, it's very difficult to say, but that's what I kind of believe is going on. And although I haven't touched on the amplifiers that John is using on this tour yet, that's probably gonna be the next video I'm making. So hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe and hit that bell button and be notified when that video comes out. But I just really wanted to make this video now and discuss this with you guys right away. But the amps that John is using on this tour is a 64 Fender Vibroverb with an Alessandro extension cabinet that is mic'd up. That is probably the cab that he's actually using and probably not using the actual Vibroverb speaker, just using the Alessandro cabinet for the Vibroverb. Then he's also using a Dumble 50 watt overdrive special. We've seen this amplifier used a little bit with Dead & Company and it's the exact same amplifier and then through a two rock cab instead of a Dumble cab or another Alessandro cabinet. So a really cool amp setup, but that's all I'm gonna say about the amps right now i'm going to save a deep dive on that for later on on the channel so again stay tuned for when that comes out but that rounds out the brief discussion in terms of the gear john is using i know i keep stating this in the videos i do on this tour but this tour is just truly unique in terms of it's literally just john coming out and playing there's no band backing him and it's really going back to his old days of performing in coffee shops and stuff like that and of course back then when he was just kind of starting out and finding his way he wasn't already super well known and famous and known as one of the best guitar players out there, modern day guitar heroes, and performed for like, you know, 20 people maybe. <laughs> now he's performing for stadiums full just himself. But the whole vibe and intimacy is still there in terms of it's just John and the crowd. And you wouldn't get to see something like this on just a tour with a full band. You just wouldn't. So if you haven't gotten tickets to this tour, I highly recommend you do because there's crazy stuff like this happening and who knows if John is ever going to do a tour like this again. Maybe in like 10 years from now he'll come back and say that tour we did was really fun back in 2023 let's revisit it and do something different but I don't know he's waited this long to do this tour and who knows all the new albums he's going to have coming out especially now he's an independent artist hopefully we get a lot more music from john he's going to be touring backing all of that up so between those tourings and any new projects he does i don't know when he's going to have time to do another solo tour quite like this one so if you're on the fence you won't be disappointed john always puts on a great show but yeah this was just incredible i wanted to share it with you guys because i love covering really special moments like these and this one is for sure right up there with okay this is going to be one thing that happens on this tour that people are going to go back to and watch on youtube again people are going to talk about when they talk about having gone to one of the shows that's going to be a highlight i think for a lot of people if not almost everyone and it's just you know I really hope the show I go to, he does something like this. Whether it's changing or something else, I think it could be really cool. Hopefully though, that all said as well, I would like to see the rule of no guitar looping broken 
because I think there could be some really cool things as well. John did perform Wheel the other night in Boston, and that's a really cool one where I think he could have done some looping and performed a nice solo over. That's just, you know, my thoughts to it. I think that could have been cool, but hearing Wheel alone was fantastic. Split Screen Sadness, Home Life, and Wheel. Three deep cuts from Heavier Things. I'm just really looking forward to hearing more deep cuts from Heavier Things too, because that's a criminally underrated record, in my opinion at least. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, you guys, your thoughts on this just crazy cool piano looped guitar solo that John did for changing. Let me know if you think this is definitely gonna be a highlight of the tour. And also let me know in the comments down below if there's another song that you'd like to see John do, something like this where he does the piano and then does an electric guitar solo over it. I think the real obvious choice would be You're Gonna Live Forever in Me because that's another one that just has piano on the record and when you hear it live as well with the key section and everything. And I think there is a really cool guitar solo that could come out of that song. And this is really one of the only other times I can even remember, at least off the top of my head, where John's singing and playing the piano. I remember when I saw him on the Search for Everything World Tour, it was really cool to see him just come out himself, sing that song with the piano, and then walk through the screen that was behind him on stage. It was a really powerful way to exit the show. And now I'm just kind of thinking, how cool would that have been back then for him to do the piano, loop electric guitar solo over it, put the guitar back down, finish the song on the piano, and then walk through that screen and that be the end of the show? That had just been a mind-blowing, like, wow, what a finish to the concert. But, you know, just thinking now something like this. It's got my mind going a bit. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. As always, the comments help the algorithm out too, which is greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. You're gonna get recommended my content no matter what. That's just the way YouTube works. But the subscription lets me know I'm doing a good job and helps my channel grow and get this content out to more people, which just is always greatly appreciated. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Anyway, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see.